my goodness. Blaine Perkins with huge damage. Oh, my. And a major hit. Oh, for Dexter Stacy. That's a lot of damage. Oh, oh he wow. got the tire. Off the bumper big rack oh, of Sheldon Creed. On. And this is the big one here at Talladega. Oh, my. Got one upside down. Is that that's, Daniel Hammer? That's Hammer his upside down. This one happens with two laps to go. Did you check Twitter while we were gone doing the interview? I mean, I'm, no. I'm glad I'm glad you stayed here <laughs> with us. Hey, how about that race on Saturday? You had ten cautions, two red flags. Only half the cars finished the race, Drew. Yeah, I, I started the race grilling out there in the infield, and then I <laughs> ended, lunch, and then you ate dinner, <laughs> and then I ended the race grilling out dinner. So yeah, it was it was long, but watched the whole time. Yeah, the Xfinity cars put on a great show. They they are three wide racing, sometimes four wide, and uh, it, the the wrecks are. Un Unbelievable when when they get upside down. It, it's a testament to how safe those cars are to see those guys walk away. Yeah, and, and you go back to the race, and we talk about Blaine Perkins, who was transported to a local hospital. He was released. We did find out, though, he's not going to race this weekend. Kyle Weatherman will be behind the wheel of the O2 for our motorsports. That's what's so challenging about these races for drivers is that you guys get behind the wheel and you know the big one is a part of the equation, Regan. Yeah, you do. And, and honestly, when you strap into the cars at a, a Daytona or a Talladega, you pull those belts a little bit tighter and you pull it tighter for this situation right here, what we saw with Blaine Perkins and, and thankful that he's okay. You know, obviously we'd love to see him racing this weekend, but uh, I don't think it's a bad thing after you see a wreck like this, that uh, maybe you take a weekend off. Um, but it, it's a testament, as Drew said, to the safety that's in the race cars. And, and that was a wild one. And, uh, you know, it seems like it takes a perfect scenario these days to get these cars upside down and an even more perfect scenario to get them to tumble like that. It's very rare that we see that anymore. We saw two of them go over on Saturday, and it was just the angles of the hits and the way the air was blocking on the cars and how they were going into the wall. Uh, thankful we don't see it more often than that. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.